Hi, Daniel. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Johnny. Good evening, teacher. Yeah. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes. How are you? Nice. Yeah. I'm great. Thank you. I'm happy it's Friday, Daniel. <laughs> yes, it's Friday. Okay. <laughs> do you work do you work Saturdays too, Daniel? Do you work on weekends? Yes, uh, at night. Yes, I work uh, I work uh, for night. Okay. And, and I then have, you rest. Yes, and I have uh, four days off. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And at <laughs> night is the whole night, Daniel. No, uh, I I ha I work uh, for night, uh, four days off, work for four days uh, at, at day at, at day how say and and uh -huh. <laughs> I, a, a, uh -huh. a shift a, a morning shift a morning uh -huh. shift yes uh -huh. yes and and rest four days and again uh -huh. again 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 and again and again ah <laughs> oh, I see all right. <laughs> But when you work at night, Daniel, do you work like what time do you start work and what time do you finish when you work at night? Uh, 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's a 12-hour shift. 12 hours, yes. Uh, at day and at night. Ah, okay. 12, 12 hours, yes. Right. My work in my work is a parking parking the airplane. Right. This is, this is a military base. Ah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But day. you are not in the Torre, uh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's next to airport. Ah, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Very good. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing that. All right. So we have also Edwin and Jorge and Trini. Welcome, guys, to class. All right, we're going to begin. Remember that the, hi, Jorgito. Jorge is outside today too. <laughs> All right, very nice. Hi. hi, Jorge, nice to see you. All right, so remember guys that this is the last class of the first week. All right, so we pretty much, we're going to uh, pretty much finish unit one today. And then on Monday, we're going to make a general review of unit one. So Tuesday, we begin unit two officially, okay? So that's the plan that we have for tonight, and that's what's gonna be happening next Monday, okay? So we're going to begin today reviewing the uh, imperatives, okay? So I also have Giovanni now, Giovanni Alexander, and Oscar Edilson. Hi, guys, welcome. All right, so we're going to talk about imperatives, okay? Let me see. Johnny, can you give me one example of an imperative, please? <clears throat> For example, get up early. Yeah, get up early. Yeah, that's a very good example. Very nice. All right, Oscar Edilson, can you give us another example of an imperative, please? Oh. Uh, uh wash the car yeah perfect very good yes very nice daniel can you think of another imperative mm, check your email yes perfect check your email very nice okay now when uh we use imperatives do we need the a subject do we need a subject when we talk about or when we use imperatives anybody no, right, Oscar? We don't need subject. I don't say you open the door. I don't say you check the email, all right? We just say check your email or open the door or get up early tomorrow, okay? We omit the subject. We don't use subjects when we talk about imperatives. Now, what about when we want to give a negative imperative? How do we make, or let's see, Alexander, can you give me an example of a negative imperative? Uh, 
Alexander, your microphone is off. <laughs> Maybe. You got my Maybe uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Do you don't stop. Excuse me? Don't stop. Don't stop. All right. Okay. That's a negative imperative. Very good. Thank you, Alexander. Hi, Rocio. Katia, Maritza. <laughs> we missed you yesterday. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, that's okay. No se preocupe. Que alegre verla también a Victoria. Le extrañamos ayer y a Nancy. All right. Solo chicas nos faltaron anoche. <laughs> All right. That's okay. All right. Para las compañeras que no estuvieron ayer, para Katia, Victoria y Nancy, we were told. Nancy, ¿verdad que usted no estuvo anoche? Creo que no. No, dicha. Very good. No se preocupe. A ver, estábamos hablando del uso de los imperatives, all right? Y recordamos que cuando usamos imperatives, son commands or son rules, all right? Instructions. For example, Daniel nos acaba de dar uno y decía, check your email or check the email, all right? Johnny también decía, get up early, okay? O eh, we can say, for example, open the door. Todos esos son imperatives. When we talk about imperatives, we do not use a subject. I don't say, for example, you open the door or he opens the door. All right, so, yeah, en eso ya no, ya no fuera un imperative. El imperative se omite, el sujeto, porque estamos hablando directamente con esa persona. En este caso, si yo les diera un, una instrucción o, un, o una um, command, obviamente todos lo van a hacer porque no estoy diciendo quién. ¿verdad? Si yo le dijera, ayer hacíamos la prueba y les decía a todos, close your eyes, and everybody close their eyes, ¿ok? Porque estaba hablando yo directamente con todos los que estaban en clase. Or get up, si ahorita le dijera, stand up, todos se pararon porque yo no dije, Katia, stand up, no dije, Nancy, stand up, no dije, Johnny, stand up, ¿verdad? Right? Porque no usamos sujeto en los imperatives, solo va el verbo, y obviamente la, la acción que queremos que haga, que, que, ya, la, la acción que queremos que la otra persona haga o realice. All right? Entonces, por eso solo decimos, si yo le dijera ahorita, eh, take a pen. Entonces, todos fueran y encontraran un lapicero y lo tuvieran a la mano porque vamos a hacer una actividad. Si yo le dijera, write your name, la escribe, escribe su nombre. Entonces, esos son imperatives. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. All right? Vamos a seguir. Y vamos a, a, a continuar con los imperatives un ratito más. Vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios. Y luego vamos con el nuevo tema que sería should and shouldn't. Para más o menos ir cerrando la unidad 1. Y el, el lunes, porque hoy es viernes ya, el lunes terminaríamos ya de cerrar y hacer un repaso de todos los temas que se han visto en estos días. All right. So that's pretty much what we have for tonight. Let me see. I'm going to take attendance right now. Okay, so uh, please listen to your names. Very good. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlitos, I don't see you. No, okay, that's okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what about Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo? All right, Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. Present. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Present. Rocio Katia Maritza Martinez Díaz. Present teacher. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Ok. Um, Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. All right, guys, so let's continue then. This is what I want us to do right now. Oh, Carlos Eduardo, hi. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. Hello, Carlos. Just give me, okay. Very good, all right. So let's hi, see hi. here, hi. Nice to see you. Okay, so let's see here, guys. We're going to do this um, interactive presentation about the about the imperatives, okay? So I'm just gonna share this with you right now. Just give me a second. Okay, hold on. We're going to do this right now. Espero que todos podamos... Uy. Wait, guys, hold on. I cannot share for some reason. Hold on, guys. Give me a second because for some reason I cannot share my... Um, Oh no, that's not nice. I don't know why. Hmm? Oh no, okay. All right, okay, let's see here guys. I don't know, for some reason I cannot share anything today. What's going on today? Mm, the computer is no, no, it's right. I know. <laughs> You're very right. Yes, I think my computer no. already knows it's Friday. Oh my goodness, Not that working. cannot be possible. Not working in Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just checked something. Oops. <laughs> So hold on, guys. I don't know what's going on, really. Oh, no, that's not nice. Okay, well, let's continue then. Um, I'm not going to be able to share right now. Ya vamos a ver cómo arreglo eso. No se preocupen. Pero entonces vamos a hacer otra cosa. Voy a mandarles esa presentación al WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? So, revisen ahí todo su, solo deme aquí un segundito, vamos a hacer eso para que lo podamos hacer. Give me one second, so this warms up. Oh my goodness, everything is so slow today. Daniel, you're right, everything is, it's tired. <laughs> everything knows it's Friday. <laughs> See, all right, okay. So here I'm going to all right, let's see guys. Vamos a ver. It's here. This is so bad. This is not working today. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't know. This would be so easy if I could just share. Okay, let's see. It's here. 
All right, you know what? Try to do this right now. I'm just gonna make it like this so it's faster. I don't know what's going on today. Can you check your WhatsApp right now and see what you guys have? It's a, a short exercise. Can you see it in your WhatsApp group? Yes, teacher. Yes? It's a, it's a, it's a link. It's, it should be an image. Ah, okay. Yeah, you see it? You guys see it? Vámonos así entonces ahorita. Yeah, you can make it bigger. Lo vamos a hacer individual. Y, y lo ven así, ah, se ve. Creo que si lo hacen más grande se logra ver bien, ¿verdad? Yes, he made yeah. a mistake. He yeah. eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm going to make it. Hold on. I'm going to send two pictures porque se me quedó cortada. Entonces, la primera parte, the first part that you guys have to do, dice, make the sentences below into imperatives. Tenemos el ejemplo ahí, dice, he makes a mistake. Como ya dijimos que no vamos, ya puedo compartir. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Alguien está compartiendo. Yo, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> yo pensé, me alegré, yo pensé que era yo. All right, very good. Eh, entonces tenemos, he makes a mistake. Como ya dijimos, no vamos a necesitar el subject. Entonces solo nos quedaría, make a mistake. All right. Luego tenemos, she, uh, no logro ver, she eats breakfast. Y lo cambiamos nada más a eat breakfast. Ok. Como no llevamos sujeto, eh, los verbos no llevan tercera persona, ¿verdad? En el, en el caso de que no llevan inflexión o ningún cambio. ¿Me entienden lo que tenemos que hacer? Esa sería la primera parte de la 1 a la 7. Y luego la parte de abajo, la segunda foto, es make the sentences below into negative imperatives. Entonces, póngalos en negativo. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? Lo van a hacer individual en lo que yo trato acá de arreglar y me van avisando los que van terminando, ¿ok? Nancita, si gusta, eh, me, eh, si usted deja de compartir, no, voy a tratar de, de ver qué hago yo aquí y si no, ya les voy a mandar a ustedes para que puedan compartir ahí porque yo creo que no, voy a, no sé si voy a poder. Thank you. All right, so you guys work it. Alexander, lo veo al revés ahora. All right. Terminen ahí, please.
Be sure. Hi. Did you have a question? Yes, what's your question? Uh, what do we do? Excuse me, Alexander. What will we do? No le escucho, Alexander, perdone. What will we do? What are we doing? You guys are working on the picture I just sent to your WhatsApp group. <laughs> ¿Usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí. All right. Ahí mandé. Lo que pasa es que ahorita eh, ya me están arreglando esta dificultad, pero no, puedo, no he podido compartir pantalla, pero ya me están viendo eso. Entonces, uh -huh. man, como opción, mandé eh, las imágenes al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, Alexander. Hola, María Melina. Hi, teacher. Um, we need to to complete the sentence. Yeah, you need to, for example, the first part, Maria Melina, from number one to number seven, we need to okay. make it like affirmative sentences, but imperative sentences. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, everybody finished? Yes, very good, Katya. What, Daniel, you're done too? Yes, teacher, I'm gone. I finished. Right. I finished. Excellent. All right, let's check these ones then. Number one, Johnny, tell me the sentence and then tell me the imperative. Okay. Uh, we play football. Okay. Uh huh. And, and the, the imperative? imperative is play football. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Oscar Edilson. Can you do, tell me the sentence and then tell me the imperative. Okay, uh, he listened to the teacher in the class. Uh -huh. uh, listen to the teacher in the class. Listen to the teacher in the class, all right, very good. Thank you, Katia, number three. He listens to music. Mm -hmm. In, in imperative, listen to music. Listen to music, very nice, thank you. Victoria, can you do number four? Do they homework, homework? Okay, okay, so the sentence is my sister does their homework, okay? So the imperative would be, Victoria? Do their homework? Do their homework. All right, very good. Do their homework. Very nice. Let's see. Eh, Oscar Esquivel, creo que no, no sé si puede porque creo que está fuera. Ah, okay. No se preocupe, Oscar. That's fine. Daniel, and, Daniel can you do the, the next one, please? Number five. Daniel? Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm tenía apagado el micrófono. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, my brother opens the door. Open the door. Okay. Open the door. Very good. Let's see here. Next one, we had um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. Can you do number six? Carlos, can you do number six? Se me había desconectado el sistema, teacher. Acaba de volver a entrar. Ah, no se preocupe. ¿Y logro hacer la, las oraciones o todavía no, Carlos? Eh, en eso estoy trabajando. Ah, ok, no se preocupe. A ver, Rosa, Lisette, Lisette, can you do number six? Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Don the horse. All right. My, my mother rides a horse. And an imperative, what would it be? Don't ride a horse. Lo puso en negativo. Yes. 
Okay, don't ride a horse. Y si fuese afirmativo, ride a horse, okay? And number seven, let me see, Edwin. Okay, my father drives a bus. Mm -hmm. Drive a bus. Drive a bus, very good, thank you. All right, the next part is negatives, okay? Let's do the negatives here together. Uh, Maria Melina, number one, we played football. What would be a negative? Don played football. All right. Can you say? Can you change it to a negative imperative? Don played football. Okay. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Don play football. That would be it. Very good. What about number two then? Um. I don't know. Alexander, do you want to do number two? He listens to the teacher in, in the class. All right, maybe he's busy. Kevin Anton, no sé si los niños que tienen la cámara apagadita estarán por ahí. Y las niñas por ahí también. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. All right, ya los veo. Okay, let's see. Alexander, do you have number three ready? He listens to the teacher in the class in negative. No? All right. Juan Jose, do you have that one? Sorry, teacher. Eso no lo he hecho. Solo las, las, las primeras. Okay. All right. Permítame que me están tratando de solventar lo del sharing my screen porque es algo desde allá. Desde la academia, permítame, deme un segundito. All right, very good. Okay, me dijo Juan José que no lo tenía. A ver, ¿quién tiene esa? La número tres, me parece que era. Don't listen to music. Don't listen to music. Very good. Next one. ¿Quién tiene el otro? My my listen does their homework. Sería doesn't their homework. Ah, uh, don't do. Sería don't do their homework. Ah, uh, don't do. Don't do their homework. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see, uh, what's the other one? Don't open the door. Okay, don't open the door, very good. The other one? Don't ride as a horse. Don't ride a horse, all right, very good. Uh, is that the last one? Don't ride a horse. A bus. Right. Okay, very good. All right, guys, very nice. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is um, I want you to make your own sentences, imperative sentences. Let's see, two affirmative and two negative about your job, not about life, about your job, things that you have to do in your job. For example, check, uh, check email check emails, all right, or you say, um, attend the meeting, okay? And then not two more in negative, for example, you say, ah, uh, don't use my personal, don't use the personal phone, okay? Or don't um, speak out loud. You think about four, two affirmative, two negative, about your job. Do that right now, please. Me avisan cuando terminen eso. Sorry, teacher, ¿qué haremos? 
four sentences, two affirmative, two negative about using imperatives about your job. Okay, thank you. I have a question. What's your question? Um, what is the what is the traduction de poner? Ponerse, o... De poner. Sí, ponte la, por decir, ponte la camisa. Ah, put it on. Oh, put a shirt okay. on. Uh -huh. Okay, it sería put the safari vest. For yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Or you can say okay. wear also, wear your safety vest. Excuse me? Wear also. Wear also, okay. Put the safari wear also, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, are you guys finished? Yes, Katya, all right. Katya, give me your examples, please. Don't exceed expenses. Excuse me? Don't exceed expenses. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting, yeah. Uh, don't forget to visit a customer. Okay. And do the report and send the email. Excellent, very good, Katia. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let me see. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, do you have yours? Number one, eh, uno y una hecho, teacher. No importa, that's okay. Okay, listen to supervisor. Okay, yes. And um, eh, don't uh, negative. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, don't raise your voice. Okay, very good. Yes, all right. Okay, only those, Carlos? Only, only two. Okay, that's okay. Let's see, Edwin. Edwin, tell me yours. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, I, your, I eat uh, I eat, uh, I no sé. <laughs> I eat. Beans. Acuérdense que hay que quitarle el I, hay que quitarle el sujeto. Solo es como una orden. Okay. Um, play, play basketball. Okay. En su trabajo, eh, 
Edwin. ¿Cómo? En su trabajo. Ah, no, no. Uh, Uh, write a, a report. Ah, okay. Write a report. Uh -huh. And send an uh, image. Uh -huh. Very good. Now negative. Um, don't uh, don't don't do a meeting no don't attend don't, a meeting or don't, don't go to a meeting uh -huh. yeah, no sé, no sé. all right no estamos bien no se preocupe a ver um dos más two volunteers more my teacher okay thank you pay attention uh -huh. go to recess <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> Don't copy on the exam. Excellent. Don't use liquid paper. Very good. Ah, all right. Trini, ese sería don't use white out. White out is liquid paper, all right? Okay. Es que liquid paper es la marca. Ah, okay. All right, pero para decir corrector decimos white del color y out, white out. Ah, okay. Very good, Trini. No, that's super nice. Thank you. All right. Bien, bien de colegio, right, Trini? <laughs> Very good. Okay, one more. One more volunteer. Okay. Don't, don't cram. Don't cram. Cram. Tell me again, Alexandra, que casi no le escuché. Don't cram. Don't? Cream. Don't pray. Cream. Don't scream. Ah, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Another one. Um. <laughs> Another one. No? All right, very good. Okay, guys, let's let's continue here then. Uh, sigo teniendo la dificultad de compartir, pero vamos a hacer lo mejor posible. All right. Um, alguien, no sé si alguien puede compartir pantalla del manual. Que me ayude con eso. Mi teacher. Yes, thank you, Johnny. Igual ya les mandé una presentación ahí, ya la vamos a hacer después, pero ahorita con el manual vamos. Thank you, Johnny. All right, yes. Si gusta, excelente, very good. Okay, so yesterday we finished that exercise with the chocolate, right? Today we're going to continue, yeah. Thank you, we finished that one yesterday. We're going to continue right now with the next page, page 15. Okay, a ver. Um, let me see here. Um, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, can you please read? I will be able to. Okay. Discuss and write about the equipment of my company. Mm -hmm. All right. So discuss and write about the equipment of my company. All right. Very good. Number one. What type of equipment is there at your company? Do you use it and why? A ver, vamos a contestar estas preguntas que están aquí y lo vamos a hacer, Johnny, si gusta, solo quiero ver una cosa, Johnny, que ahorita, que si puedo crear grupos, eso sí es importante. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, vamos a irnos a los grupos y vamos a contestar this question. All right, la pregunta que teníamos ahí, sorry, Johnny, regrese, please. <laughs> Ahí está. Thank you, Johnny. All right. Vamos a contestar esta pre estas preguntas que están acá en los grupos. What type of equipment is there at your company? La mayoría trabajamos en empresas diferentes. Llámese escuela, llámese un colegio, 
a, no sé, laboratorio, eh, wherever you work, ¿ok? No importa el lugar de trabajo, usted algo, algo, ocupamos herramientas o equipos, ¿ok? Entonces, hágame una lista, no sé, de unas cinco o seis cosas of equipment that you use, that you have in the company, conteste, do you use it? All right, puede ser que usted tenga X cosa ahí, pero no la ocupe o sí la ocupa. All right, si la ocupa, explique por qué la ocupa. Y si no, if you don't use it, then I want you to. Ok, ok, Nancy. Y si no, if you don't use it, I want you to tell me I don't use it because, and then you give me a reason. Ok. Then I want, when you finish number one, I want you to read the conversation. Ahorita solo la vamos a leer en su grupo. Alguien va a ser Peter y luego eh, Berta. All right? Vamos a hacer los dos roles. Cuando regresemos, seguimos con esto y vamos a ver el nuevo tema. The should and should not. Okay? Thank you, Johnny, for sharing. All right? Entonces, ahorita vamos a trabajar. Page 15, exercise one and exercise two. Voy a abrir los grupos ahorita para que nos podamos ir. All right, guys, let's go. Ok, Jorge, no se preocupe. Hola, niña Vicky. Vicky está conectada también, con ella también lo podemos hacer. Jorge, ahorita si gusta lo voy a mover. Bueno, de hecho ya lo mandé a un grupo, Jorge, solo para que esté de oyente. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Ahorita lo acabo de mover, Jorge. Oh, no, me lo puede volver a apretar acá y no pude entrar. Por favor. Ok, no se preocupe ahorita. Thank you. Hola, Nancy. Hi, teacher. 
Hola, Nancy. Hi. Hola, hola. Hola, hola, la escucho. Sí, teacher, es que tengo problema. Fíjense que se fue la luz y... Sí, así estaba leyendo. Me quedé a medio. Ah, vaya, si gusta, bueno, no sé, si gusta se queda en lo que le pueda durar, no sé, o la mando a un grupo, igual, como usted quiera. Solo para que esté oyendo. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Vaya, vaya, ahorita. Vaya Nancy, ya.
can curry. Thank you. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. We finished the A tiempo entré. Very nice, Katia. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, guys. Excellent. So you finished the questions and the conversation? Uh, yes. yes. All right. Perfect. Yes. Let's go. Vamos a regresar y vamos a revisar pronunciation and everything, okay? Okay. 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 Johnny, maybe you can share your screen again for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. Very good. Let me see here. Um, Maria and Melina, question number one. What type of equipment is there at your company? Um, in my company? Um, we are working only with a computer. Uh huh. We, we have um, a printer. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Very nice. What else? Let me see. What about Katia in your company? What kind of equipment do you do you have in your company? In my company, we have a different equipment like printing machine chemical mixing machine, mm -hmm. computer, leaf truck. Okay, yeah. And labeler. Oh, all right, interesting, very good. Let me see, what about Kevin Antonio? In your company, Kevin, what um, equipment is there at your company? Um, but is the equipment that is in the your company a, a, a pencil, computer, telephone, this shirt. Okay. Um, this equipment is necessary for my work. That's right. Okay. Very nice. Interesting. Thank you. Let me see. Um, Juan Jose, in your company, what kind of equipment is there? Juan Jose, no? Okay. What about Lisette in your company? What kind of equipment, Lisette? So, sorry, teacher. Tenía... A ver, no se preocupe. Can you tell us about the equipment you have in your in sure. your company? Oh, okay. Vaya. La primera es eh, take day from the pegs. And number two, examine specs the decline oh wait 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 we're working right now in an ejercicio uno todavía what type of equipment is there at your company el ejercicio uno juan jose what type uh, of equipment is there at your company ah okay no la pas no la hice mal teacher entendí mal entonces ah okay pero no se preocupe tranquilo all right veamos aquí johnny what about in your school, Johnny? What kind of equipment is there? Okay, um, computers. Uh, oh, chairs. Uh -huh. Desks. Markers. Yeah. And printers. <laughs> very good. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Okay, one more. One more. Let me see. What about Daniel? Tell us about your the equipment in your company, Daniel. Okay, in my company, we use a uh, forklift, we use computer, mm -hmm. and per personally, I, I use ear protectors, right. cafeteria bass, bass, and radio communicator. Oh, right. Okay, very nice. Yes, of course, every company has different things, right? Now, 
Um, do you guys use the equipment that there is in your company? Do you guys use it or not everything? Anybody, just anybody that wants to answer. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Yes, what about, yeah, okay, very good. What about the rest yes, of I'm, you guys? Yes? I'm, I'm using for my self-protection. That's right, Daniel, very nice. That's why we use those things. Very good, okay. Now we have the conversation, okay? I'm gonna read it to you right now, okay? And then we can check um, pronunciation again. It says, Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, now, yo sé que ya la leyeron, ya practicaron la conversación con sur, sus partners, okay, but do you have any questions about meaning or about pronunciation? Anybody? What is meaning? Excuse me, Alex? What is meaning? What is mean? Uh, where I mean, where are you? Mean. I mean. I mean. Ah, I mean. Ah, es cuando usted quiere cuando usted dice me refiero. Uh -huh. O lo que quiero decir. Uh -huh. Me refiero. I mean. In the, in the world, uh, getting is a clip. Sí, right, okay. very good. Getting new equipment, adquirir nuevo uh, equipo. Very nice, yes. Improve. Anybody else? What is improve? Mejorar. Okay. All right, you improve your English every day, Johnny. Okay, anybody else? Any other questions, no? Okay, when we, yes, tell me. Um, getting, eh, lo podemos traducir también como obteniendo. Sí, yeah, also, that could be, okay. Okay. very good. Thank you, okay. If you notice on the conversation here, we have in bold, in negrita, we have should improve, should do, should be, and should talk ok now es importante la pronunciación del mismo ahí existe una l en la escritura pero no en pronunciación usted no puede decir should Ay, la l es muda decimos should should improve should do should be and should talk ok yes now should, what is should? No quiero el significado. ¿Qué es should? I don't want you to tell me what it is. I mean, what is the meaning? I want you to tell me what is it. ¿A qué familia pertenece should? Uh, sí. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the meaning. Ya escuché por ahí. ¿A qué familia pertenece should? Es un verbo. Yes or no? Is it a verb? No. no. It's an auxiliary. Ah, kind of, Katia. Sí, ya casi llegamos ahí. Pero what kind of auxiliary? They have a name. Uh, infinitive, teacher. No. But it is a possibility. It's not an infinitive, no? Okay. All right. But we're getting there. Vamos a ver si yo les digo must, 
have to, would, should. ¿Qué son todos ellos? Models. Models. Models yes, very good. Yes, de hecho son como un, un tipo de auxiliar, ¿verdad? Pero se le llama model verbs. Very good, Katia. Thank you. All right, entonces en este caso we're going to talk about should. Should we use it as a modal verb? Recuerde que cuando hablamos de los verbos modales, ellos tienen sus propias reglas, ¿verdad? Y yo sé que eso también ya lo han visto en los módulos anteriores. Cuando hablamos de los verbos modales, ellos tienen sus propias reglas. No aplican las mismas reglas de los verbos eh, normales, voy a decir, así como que... Acuérdense que en tercera persona singular se le agrega S al verbo. Cuando hablo de he, she, it. Cuando hablamos en negativo usamos don't, to doesn't. All right. Esas son esas reglas. Pero con los verbos modales no aplican esas reglas. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, oigan, le voy a decir dos oraciones. Johnny, si gusta, me deja de compartir un ratito y ya lo voy a volver a molestar, Johnny. Thank you so much. Me ha salvado tonight, Johnny. All right. Si yo digo, I'm going to tell you two sentences, ¿ok? Usted escúchelas y me dice which one is correct. Voy a decir, Katia, vamos a ocupar a, a, el nombre de Katia ahora de ejemplo. Katia should practices more English or Katia should practice more English. Number one or number two. Quien dice número uno me levanta la manita. Repeat. Okay. okay, I'm going to repeat. Number one, Katia should practices more. Number two, Katia should practice more. Practices one. Okay, number one. Vámonos primero con la uno. ¿Qué me dice número uno es correcta? Katia should practices more. Nobody. <laughs> Okay, y número dos, estamos diciendo Katia should practice more. Levánteme la manita si dice dos o dice uno. Sin pena, usted está orgulloso de su respuesta. Excellent. A ver, Giovanni, Alexander, Carlos no le logré ver la manita y Carlos Eduardo. Eh, Melgar. Carlos Eduardo, excellent. Edwin, ¿qué dice usted? Ok, Lisa, ya la vi. Ok, Kevin. Juan José, ¿qué dice usted? Ya había María Melina, Katia, very good, Daniel ya, Johnny también, Victoria, a Trini no veo ni a Jorge. A ver, y los que no dicen y uno y dos, y entonces sí son las dos opciones, ti. <ríe> All right, entonces, very good, no se preocupen. Thank you, guys. Cuando hablamos de los verbos modales, no vamos a ponerle ninguna inflexión al verbo. All right, así esté yo hablando de Katia. O de una tercera persona. Entonces yo voy a decir, Katia, should practice more. No practices. All right. Si yo le quito el should, entonces yo digo, Katia should, I mean, Katia practices more English. All right. For example. Pero si le pongo el should, ya no pongo practices. Solo lo dejo en su forma infinitiva. Should practice. Ok. Yes, guys, do you understand? Ahora, voy a decir, voy a, vamos a, volvamos a hacer otro ejercicio de la 1 y la 2. Escúchenlas y me dice cuál es correcta. Voy a decir, vamos a no hacer, ni me sale. <ríe> a ver, voy a decir, um, they should go, no. Perdón, perdón. It's negative. They shouldn't go to the doctor. That's number one. Or they don't shouldn't go to the doctor. ¿Cómo voy a decir? They one. should, they should, number one. Listen, listen right now. They shouldn't go to the doctor. Or number two, they don't shouldn't go to the doctor. One. Number one, dice Alexander. Ajá, y los demás. Number one or number two. Okay, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, ya lo vi. Very good. Y los demás, number one, Juan José, very good, María Melina, okay, Daniel and Johnny, yes, I see you, Victoria, Edwin, okay, Lisette, very nice, Katia, ¿qué dice? O habrá otra opción por ahí, o podemos decir, they don't should go to the doctor. 
¿Puedo decir esa también? They don't shoot. No, because you use to auxiliary. Ah, all right, very good. Okay, entonces, another rule de los modal verbs, they have their own negatives. They don't need auxiliary, like Kate is saying. They don't need don't. They don't need doesn't. They have their own negative. So they say should not, okay? They should not go to the doctor or they should not um, eat too much sweet, all right? So should plus not to make it negative. A veces no suena así como teacher, nunca vamos a decir eso. Pero ya he escuchado yo. Acuérdese que los, los model verbs son varios, incluyendo el can. All right. Y ya, ya, ya he escuchado yo en mis 23 años, 22 años de dar clase, ya he escuchado que dicen I don't can't. All right. Y el can't también es, una, es un model verb. All right. No necesito el don't. Entonces, a veces sí todavía... No ustedes, pues ustedes ya van en avanzado 5, avanzado en básico 5 y el avanzado de los básicos, ¿verdad? Ya no hacen esos errores. Pero hay que, hay que tener cuidado. No decimos I don't can't, solo digo I can't, o I shouldn't, o I wouldn't. Ok, es el verbo modal más el plus not. Ok, guys, yes. Ahora, when do we use should and when do we use shouldn't? To express what? How do I use should or shouldn't to express what? Nos voy a dejar pensando en eso ahorita. Voy a tomar la asistencia nada más. Creo que hay varios compañeros que han tenido problemas ahora con el inter. All right, veamos aquí. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Then we have here Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. Present. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Thank you. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubías. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lizette de Paz Hernández. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. All right. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Y Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent. Ok, guys. Vamos a ver. Voy a mandar. Acabo de mandar. Eh, se los está cargando una presentación de should and shouldn't al grupo, solo dejen que se cargue ahí bien. Um, no sé si Johnny, usted me puede seguir apoyando ahí. Thank you, Nancy. Me puede seguir apoyando ahí para eh, compartir pantalla. Johnny, solo que todavía se está cargando. Okay. All right, mire ahora, ya, ya, ya llegó al grupo. Okay. Yes, shouldn't, shouldn't. Uh -huh. Okay, 
Thank you, John. Okay, thank you. Okay, should and shouldn't. Okay, so we have this modal verb, okay, that we need to uh, remember because you have seen it before. Continue, Johnny, please. Okay, when do we use should? We use should to give advice. Do you understand what advice is? What is advice? Do you understand what advice is? Consejo? Yes, it's a consejo, very nice. Uh, it's an opinion you give someone about what they should do or what they shouldn't do. Continue, Johnny P. Okay, a ver, Maria Melina, can you please read the yellow sign? Yes, you should and shouldn't to give somebody advice or say what the thing is the right thing to do. Thank you. All right. You should or shouldn't to give somebody advice or say what you think is the right thing to do. Okay. How do we use this? We use we use it with the subject plus should or shouldn't plus should the should. verb. All right, y ojo con esto, with infinitive without to. Okay, acuérdese que ayer nada menos ayer hablamos del infinitivo, verdad? Ahí hablamos de el infinitivo y el bare infinitive. Recordemos que el bare infinitive es siempre infinitivo, solo que no le ponemos to. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso, vamos a poner S. Vamos a decir, por ejemplo, vamos a decir, I should pay attention. No voy a decir, I should to pay attention. No voy a poner el to. Right? Yes. Me ayudan ahí con un micrófono que está abierto. Bueno, hay dos micrófonos abiertos. Hola, hola. Quiero. Thank you. Okay, very good. Or we say, for example, they shouldn't um, play outside. No vamos a decir they shouldn't to play outside. No, we don't we don't use the two only the verb in infinitive but without to okay continue johnny please okay for example let me see alguien que me lee el example please uh, me edwin thank you edwin you sure will sweet the the interview yes very good you should wear a suit to the interview. Very good. Should and suit. Very nice. Thank you. Next one is um, Johnny. Okay. Someone to read this example, please. Thank you. You shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. It, it, I don't keep. If you keep you awake, yes. All right, very good. Yeah, if you drink coffee in the evening, you're not going to be able to sleep. Give me a second, guys. Excuse me. All right, next one, uh, Johnny. Okay, someone to read this for me? We often volunteers to read. Alguien que me lea the yellow part? Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Okay. We often use, I think you show, I don't, I don't think you show. Okay. Continue, please. Okay. I think you show change your job. Yes. All I, right. Uh-huh. Continue. I don't, I don't think you show speak to hear. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. So. Cuando hablamos, eh, when we talk a lot, usually we use I think you should, all right, or I don't think you should. Eso también lo podemos a, a hacer y lo usamos de hecho bastante eh, 
como es que es bien común usarlo, ¿verdad? I think you should change your job. Okay, or I don't think you should talk to her. That's not a very good idea. Okay. Continue, Johnny. Okay, it says now it's your turn. I want you to say advice. Okay, uh, continue, Johnny. Okay. Veamos ahí. Si gustan. Tomenle foto a este slide que está ahí. Okay, take a picture of this. All right. Por ejemplo, la primera dice, I have problems going to sleep at night. What shall I do? Y se me dice, teacher, pero aquí, ¿por qué dice shall y no should? It's, it's the same thing, okay? But in this case, you're asking, what shall I do? Or what should I do? Es lo mismo. Se van a ir a sus grupos y van a darse consejos, like give advice. Yo le voy a decir, por ejemplo, a Carlos Melgar, Carlos, I have problems going to sleep at night. What shall I do? Y él me va a decir, ah, Jessica, you should. Y él me va a decir algún consejo. ¿Ok? Así la, con la segunda, number three and number four. Luego, él me va a hacer las mismas preguntas, pero yo le voy a dar otro consejo. ¿Ok? Yes? So, preguntamos y contestamos. All right, guys, you understand the exercise? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you, Johnny. You may stop sharing for now. Excellent, Johnny, very much. All right, thank you. Okay, let's go to the same groups right now, please. Y trabajamos en eso. No necesitan escribir nada, a menos que usted quiera. La idea es practice your conversation. Teacher, a mí no me mandó para el grupo. Um, no, Nancy, pero porque no estaba segura si por la situación de la luz. ¿La mando a un grupo? Sí, teacher, ya regreso la luz. Ah, vaya, ahorita, ahorita. Vaya, Nancy, ya. Ok, thank you. Thank you.
Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Teacher, I, I, I have um, a question. question. Yes, what's your question? Eh, en esta de, de, de que el niño quiere, eh, quiere un perro y la esposa mm -hmm. es alérgica. Mm -hmm. Entonces, la primera sería, podemos usar negativo, ¿verdad? Sí. You should buy a dog. Yeah. You shouldn't buy a dog. Excellent. Very good, Carlos. Pero, y la otra es como hacer entenderle al niño. No estoy seguro si la, si la puse correcta. You Está súper bien, Carlos. Se, ¿Se entiende? Sí, sí, sí. You should talk okay. with the children to understand. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Very nice. Excellent. Very nice. Ok, ahí vamos una cada uno. <laughs> very good. Okay, yeah, no. that's ok. That's fine. Thank you. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you. entonces de nuevo la pregunta. I do. En la casa o sin profesoras. Sí. Sin profesoras o con profesora. No. Without teacher. I don't know how to study at home. Yo no sé cómo estudiar en la casa sin profesor. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh, Ahí sería de encontrarse un tutor, de conseguir un tutor. Así podría ser, o, o conseguirse yeah. un, un profesor por horas. Hello, uh -huh. teacher. Hello. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Jose. Uh, hello, teacher. <laughs> Ya van en la última, ¿verdad? Yes. Excelente. Uh, sí. uh -huh. Yo no sé cómo estoy. Very good. Quiero ver. Yes. Johnny, creo que ya puedo compartir pantalla. Sí. Yes. Ahora yo se lo arreglé. Ah, <laughs> no, you fixed it. All right. Okay, let's see, guys. Um, Maria Melina, question number one. 
Eh, solo que esas no las tengo yo a la mano, fíjense, Johnny. Todavía lo voy a tener que molestar. Espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. A ver, question number one, María Melina. I think it was. Um, hold on. I have problems going to sleep at night. What should I do? ¿Qué consejos nos dio, María Melina? In this case, teacher, um, Carlos told me um, I should um, bring tea. Ah, okay. Yes, very nice. Okay. Uh, um, I don't remember the, the key name. <laughs> Something uh, like spirit. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's the, the okay. Name is the name is the seven spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All so right. Experience. Oh my experience. goodness, Carlos. All right. That's an interesting name. Okay. Thank you. Thank Let you. me see. Um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. My neighbor's dog barks all the time and is driving me crazy. What shall I do? Okay. Um, you shouldn't buy a dog. For number two, Carlos. For number two, um, you should you should talk with the children to understand. Okay, pero creo que esa Carlos that's number three. Okay. My children want a dog. This is the um, oh. number three. Number two is my neighbor's ah, okay. dog. Uh huh. Sorry, teacher. No, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, my, uh, my neighborhood dog barks all the time. And it's driving me crazy. Okay, you should play music high volume. <laughs> oh my goodness, Carlos. All right, alguien va a ganar. All right, very nice. Thank okay, you. sorry. Teacher. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. In my group, uh, about the uh, question number two, in my group, someone says, in the dog. Oh my, God. oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> That's okay, 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 no All problem. Right. That, was, that was Johnny, Daniel, and Katia, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, you guys are terrible. All right, very nice. Oscar Edilson. Um, number three. It was, my children want a dog, but my wife is allergic to animals. What should I do? Uh, you should talk with your children yes. and, and say uh, it is a bad idea for you. <laughs> yes, it is a very bad idea. Very good. Let's see. Um, Edwin and Juan Jose, number four, it said, I don't know how to study at home without a teacher. What shall I do? Number <clears throat> Number four. Yes. Uh, um, call, call a study with a tutor. Ah, you should study with a tutor. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Lisette, tell me one more advice for number one. I cannot sleep very well, Lisette. What should I do? Number number one. Number one again, yes, okay. Lisette. Okay. You told take a tea to relax. Yeah, you should. You should take a tea or drink a tea to relax. Very good, guys. Excellent. Very nice. So remember when we use should or shouldn't, that we're giving advice, okay, to someone that you think is a good idea. All right, very good. Yo puedo compartir, les cuento. So I'm very happy for that today. <laughs> All right, let's go back here. Pero Johnny nos ayudó. Bueno, me ayudó mucho ahora. Thank you, Johnny. That was very nice of you. All right, let's see. I'm going to share. Sí, it's super. Okay, so here we go back to the book. Okay, on page 16, it says how to use should. Should is a modal verb to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. The structure, subject, plus should or should not, 
plus verb plus complement. We should upgrade our system. They should bring new equipment. We shouldn't or we should not continue with the same market. This company should broad its target, okay? So, si se fija, aquí están usando should, should not, or should here again, and then we have should here again. So, we're using should here, okay? Now, before, uh, we have like about 15 more minutes, vamos a hacer este ejercicio number five. Ahí usted va a depender si ustedes deciden usar should or shouldn't, this exercise. Ese está en el manual. But I want you to work on this too. Voy a poder compartir pantalla hoy sí. All right, I want you to take a picture of this. All right, lo que esté en el manual lo van a hacer rapidito. Please take a picture of this. This is should and shouldn't. And I want you to take a picture of the sentences. Solo que le van a salir dos, dos imágenes ahí. Voy a mover. All right, so we have 15. Okay, guys, ready? Yes. Excellent, all right, so I'm gonna stop sharing. Mándenlo al grupo, porfa, okay? So let's go, we're gonna work on the book, ese ejercicio chiquitito, y luego esta página que acabamos de compartir ahí. Let's go, guys. Yes, Alexander. Sí, yo de, ya, ya le queda marcado, ok, no se preocupe. Bye. Trini, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Trini. Hola, Trini. Victoria. Ah, ok. Sí, ahorita la mando. Thank you, Trini. Thank you.
Jorge me avisa si gusta que lo mande a algún grupo para que escuche. Ah, por ah, favor, Ticho. Vaya ahorita. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, Jorge, ahorita.
Did you finish, Johnny? Yes. Everything? Yes. Excellent. Very nice. Good. Good job. All right. Very nice. Everybody's coming back now. All right, guys, very good. We're about to finish right now. On Monday, vamos a, acuérdense que tenemos el repaso de la unidad 1, entonces vamos a revisar, vamos a entrar lunes revisando estos dos ejercicios que acabamos de hacer. I'm going to take the last attendance so you guys can go rest, so you guys have a nice, a nice weekend, all right? No se le olvide seguir con lo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Así es que eso es importante. Voy a tomar la asistencia ahorita y el lunes que iniciamos clase vamos a revisar esos dos ejercicios que acabamos de hacer. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Presente. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Rivas. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. Present. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lisette Rodriguez Escoto. Thank you. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present teacher. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. I will see you on Monday. Please finish your platform. All right. Y descanse mucho el fin de semana. All right. Bye, yeah. guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, Bye now. Good week. Bye. Have a nice weekend mm. to you too. Go to the beach. <laughs> really, Oscar? A cocktail. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> Qué bárbaro, Oscar. Bueno, bye. 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 bye.